Welcome to the Minds of Machines channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to explore a basic neural network setup using NumPy and the NNFS library. We'll start by generating spiral data for classification and then delve into our network, which consists of two layers. The first layer is a dense layer activated by ReLU to introduce nonlinearity, followed by a second dense layer with a softmax activation, which transforms outputs into a probability distribution perfect for tasks like classification. This session provides a practical demonstration of activation functions like ReLU and SoftMax, crucial components in modern neural networks. Let's dive into the code and see these concepts in action. So now let's see how we implement this code line by line. Uh, first, we will import the math library the import python math module which uh, provides access to various mathematical function in this code the module is used for calculating the exponential of numbers via math dot exponential and for accessing the euler's number next we will define the layer output here we define a list called as layer outputs which contains three floating point number and this could represent the output from some neural network layer before an activation function like softmax is applied. Then after that we actually uh, use e equals to math dot e which is a Euler's number though you could also directly use math dot exponential e is assigned as value of Euler's number approximately uh, 2.71828 is the value of Euler's number which is the base of natural logarithms and the key constant in exponential function here an empty list of exponential underscore values is created to store the exponential of the layers output. This is the for loop that iterates over each value in layers output calculates its exponential value using math dot exponential output which completes uh, and appends the result to the exponential value. This process converts the original value into their exponentials. For example, math expression 4.8 uh, uh, would be calculated as e raised to 4.8. And now, we are going to print the exponential values which contains the uh, exponential of the original layer output. For instance, after this step, the list might look like, uh, for example, 1.21.5104 or 3.3548 or 17.0528. So this is how the exponential values will look like and after that we will calculate the normal base value uh, which means the this calculates all the uh, uh, sum of all the values in exponential value and stores it in norm base and the sum is used to normalize the exponential value ensuring that their total sum uh, to 1 as required by the softmax function. Then we normalize the exponential value uh, using list compre uh, compression. This uh, line which you can see is norm values is equals to bracket values divided by norm base for values in expression values. This line is a list compressive to normalize each values in the exponential value by dividing it by norm base the result is a new list values are scalar to sum to one making them probabilities next we will print the norm values this prints the normalized value in norm value and these values now represent the probability typically between zero and one then we will print the sum of the normalized value because we have normalized them that is 
divided each by the total sum. The sum of these normalized values should be very close to 1 with minor floating precision errors. Print the norm values and after that we print the sum of the normalized values. So here we are trying to uh, normalize it to 1 so that we can get better result. So these are all arithmetic operations which we apply in our neural network so that our neural network should know what the output looks like or identify how the output looks like. Now let's walk through a simple implement implementation of the neural network using the python and numpy libraries as we saw in the previous uh, part of the code how the numerical functions are used and how they generate the output that uh, same function we will be using in our current neural network so before starting that i would start from the start of the code that is first we import the math library as you know, it provides the mathematical function. Then we import the NumPy library as NP and is used for numerical operation, particularly matrix and array manipulations. We then also import NNF as a library designed specifically for neural network programming and use it to generate a spiral data, a common data set for neural network demonstrations. This library I came across when I was learning uh, neural networks. Then we will initialize an NNFS library which is NNFS dot init function. This is how we uh, it's called as initializing the data set in a reproducible manner and it sets seed and ensures that certain parameters are uh, initialized correctly. Next we define the layer classes. So in that we define the self n input and n neuron inside which where uh, n neuron is uh, is the number of neurons in the layer and n input is the number of input features for e each neuron. This represents a fully connected dense layer in a neural network inside the init method. The weights are randomly initialized using uh, np.random.randn scaled by 0 0.10 for a smaller values. Biases are initialized to 0 represented as one row array of 0 as you can see in the code. Next we define the forward method which has parameters self and input. The forward method performs the forward pass through the dense layer and it computes the output by multiplying the input matrix inputs with the layer's weight using the dot product and then adds the biases. So this is the basic formula of a neural network as I have shown you in the previous tutorial. So this is how the output is calculated and this particular function's main uh, operation is to forward pass the input. Next we define the class activation ReLU. ReLU is rectified linear unit and is an activation function which is commonly used in neural network in the forward method. It sets negative input value to 0 using np.maximum inside np.maximum we write 0 comma inputs ensuring only positive values are passed. So, so this activation values are basically used to remove all the negative values if there is any input 
or in our uh, in within the layer if it finds out any output uh, any negative value is generated then these negative values are removed so that we can get a perfect output which our model can identify we define a class activation softmax the activation softmax class implements the softmax activations which converts the raw score into probabilities here how it works so inside the forward function we define np dot exponential bracket uh, inputs minus np dot max bracket uh, inputs comma axis is equals to one keep dims equals to true which is basically stabilizing the calculation by subtracting the maximum value in each row to avoid larger exponentials next we normalize the value by exponential divided by np dot sum of exponential values this normalizes the value so that so they sum to one making them valid probabilities and this result is stored in self dot output so the main thing we are trying to do is even if there is any negative value we are trying to make it uh, remove it so that we get a proper uh, correct output from the neural network or our neural network identifies the output correctly so we are using all mathematical functions here which we had seen how the formulas are written in python in the previous uh, first half of this tutorial next we generate the spiral data so uh, so the spiral data as we saw is generated from the nnfs library which i had uh, got after learning from uh, the neural network tutorials and then we generate the spiral data using spiral data from uh, spiral data function from nnfs and x contains the input feature while y holds the target class label and the data says has 100 samples and 3 classes so you can generate how many samples you want and how many classes you want but in our case i've used 100 samples and 3 classes next we define the first layer by calling our layer dense and with two input as the spiral data have two features and three neurons then then we create an instance of the activation relu after creating dense one layer we define the second layer dense to taking three inputs from the previous layer three neurons and outputting the three neurons for the three classes then we instantiate activation softmax now we perform the forward pass the first layer takes the input data x and computes its output then the relu activation takes the output of dense one and applies the activation function that's it the code sets up a basic two layer neural network using fully connected layer and common activation functions like relu and softmax with spiral data as input and this is fundamental steps in building the neural network for classification task now we will print how the output looks from the first five outputs from the activation layer of the second layer from the activation of the second layer which you can see over this uh, in the below uh, terminal how the values are 
forward uh, passed from one layer of neural network to another layer and this is how you have to convert and apply the relu and the softmat activation function to get a proper and positive response from a neural network so this is how the neural network base is built i hope you will understood the basic of using softmax softmax activations and re, uh, rect, uh, linear functions that could help us uh, creating a better neural network if you are planning to build your own neural network and how you can apply these functions to get uh, to make your model predict better responses i hope you have enjoyed and got some basic knowledges uh, which are important in building your own neural network i hope you to see in the next tutorial till then have a good day see you next time in the next tutorial bye bye and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel minds of machine